Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. So, I I told you guys before, my thing, the, the game just restarted, so I had this, so I really decided to replay all this. So, I'm gonna start episode 4, but guys, I, once I'm done making the video, I'm gonna be streaming. So, I'm gonna make two videos. The one I'm gonna be doing right now, and the one's gonna be something else. So, I gotta start episode 4. Four, download and a live stream to do episode 5 so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into this alright guys I'm gonna start um, something new to the channel what I'm doing right now this is gonna be the first one so this vi this video will be titled thought talk so I decided because I like to talk a lot and there's like some things that's happening right now to all over the world and I, I just really want to give my opinion and see what people agree about it. So today I'm just going to be talking about two things. It's con it's about consoles and um, the new gen and last gen. Just going to be talking about those two. This series will continue until like at least like if I don't think of any subjects that I think I should give my thoughts about and talk about it. Then yeah. If you guys want to leave a subject that you want me to talk about, leave a comment in this video right now. But I'm just going to be talking about just consoles and just lesson about the graphics, that's it. So let's, let's get right into it. First thing I really want to talk about is just mostly about consoles. So consoles. Consoles, it's just like people, we'll just be having a, just a war between... Which is better? Like one person say PS4 is better, the other person say Xbox One is better, other person say PC is better. But look, the only thing they all have in common, and they only have one purpose, is just to make video games. No, not to make play video games. That's like the only purpose those three consoles, no, like two con those systems. Those are the only purpose that we have, like I am right now. I have an Xbox 360, but I, w but I would have chosen the PS3, but I wouldn't really, it wouldn't really matter to me, right now. So, <coughs> so yeah, it really, it really, really doesn't matter about the console. It's like people. Like me, I'm I'm like the in between people. I don't really mind if I get a PS4 or an Xbox One or just a PC. Well, I'm not more of a PC. Like PC, it's just like if I even try to play a computer game, my finger will get really hurt and like twitches a little. It it's not normal for me to do that. So yeah, if I had to choose. I would just go with Xbox because Xbox I really love and I, I love playing it more than um, the PS. Even though the first console I ever had was a PlayStation, I really hated PlayStation 2 because I had a really difficult time with the cords. The cords always mess up and it won't show the video. That's what got me mad when I was little then. I went to a Wii. So a Wii, a Wii, oh, I should include this, Wii 2 is considered a console. So Wii, I used to like Wii 2 until, um, until I, um, decided, until, um, my dad gave me an Xbox 360. I was happy, like, I want, it was like my first experience I ever had. My first experience was like, really, really interesting, because like, it was way better than the Wii, but it's way, but it's like the controls I'm feeling right now, it's way better than having a PS2, because like, the only thing that's a pain with the PS2 is just like cords, I don't like, I'm not a cord man, like, I really want to like, how do I say, I like to like sit really far and still play on the, t so, still play while I'm looking at the TV, but like, <laughs> like it'll kind of the cord will kind of bother you. Cords is just kind of like a pain, but wireless. I just love wireless 
the Xbox 360 controller. It's just like much more better than the PS um PS2 and the Wii. The Wii did have a um cord, but it was really necessary. So yeah, I really didn't mind having that cord, but if it's for the PlayStation 2, I just really didn't like it. But now let's let's get back to it. So if I had the, yeah, so but yeah. So Xbox One, it's like my friends gave me like good description and what I should get. So they told me so I asked them today like which is better should I get? Should I get the Xbox One or should I get the Xbox One S? So they told me Xbox One S because it has lots of gigs like in the storage. That is very, very helpful because like I don't know how many games I'm gonna be downloading or playing and if it's gonna take up if it's like a lot of gigs then it will be useful. But the PS4 I don't know exactly how many gigs it could take, but I know that Xbox One S has a lot of gigs. And and the one thing they told me about the PS4 is when the PS4 overheats and I really don't like that. I don't like when things like overheat and they, they and they decided to add that, but I don't know why. They doing the same thing to the Xbox 360, but I really don't mind because I have a fan to keep it cool, so that's a good thing. Um, let's get back, um, back to Xbox One, like, I can play it 24-7, and that's a good thing, because I'm always a huge gamer, I never stop playing games. Game, video games are just, just like, I just like, I just like playing video games, it's like, um, yeah, if I really had to choose, I'll go with Xbox One. Xbox One, but the good thing is about the Xbox One is, um, I can sign into my account. I talked about this before when I did the upgrade video. I talked about this before. Like, it can retrace my history, which is a good thing. Instead of making a new account, like, if my Xbox 360 died and I wasted all that money, all my life, not all my effort for like nothing. Like, I'll still have if still have the Xbox One to still continue the history. Like, I wanted to have like a list of games I've been playing since the beginning, since I had the Xbox One. Through my Xbox 360. <clears throat> the first game I ever had was Amazing Spider-Man, and I still have it. Um, I just love Spider-Man and Batman. It's Spider-Man, I just cannot stop playing until one time it broke because I was cooling it off with my breath because I blow and it cools off for like a couple of seconds. Then it stopped working and I got a new one. That's And the guys who gave me a new one told me, <coughs> they told me, that's why they'll give they'll give this they'll give the one they gave me for like for free. It's just like I just gotta pay. They, my dad had to pay for like more stuff. But um yeah I didn't know you can get like another Xbox One Xbox. I mean I can't I can't get in this too confused but yeah so I got a new one cause I messed up my first one. This is actually my second Xbox 360. Now, yeah, so yeah, so I don't really mind if people are more of a PS4 than a Xbox One, I don't really don't mind about that at all, people say Xbox, it's better than Xbox One, it's just like their based opinion, the only thing it has that's better than Xbox One is just graphics, and graphics are, are like, it's like, three-dimensional like really good graphics like us but I had to hand it to them because they did a really good job with the graphics the Xbox one and a ps4 so yeah and <coughs> sorry man I'm clearly fine with any of y'all's opinions if you think PS is better 
or the PC is better, I don't really mind. I'll, it's just like, if they're gonna be an argument, it's just like, we they all have a purpose and it's for gaming. It doesn't matter exactly. It's just like, their graphic. No, it's just like new graphics and, and new things. But you can just get, get the same thing. Like... The only thing I, I really don't like is just like when you when you <clears throat> when you buy something that's really expensive and it all goes to waste that's like not good. But if it's well, I like PC but not that much. Really. I like to play games but not games like this. It's like different. But. Like the good thing about PC players, I have one, his name is Redbug. He's one of my friends. But yeah, he loves PC like better he loves it than the consoles. But I'm really really okay with his opinion. It's definitely his opinion of what is better to him. It's for him and for himself. It's only to speak out to which is better. So I'm speaking out for myself to say I think Xbox One is better to have, and I don't really like to make new friends on it on X on the PS4 because it's like I gotta wait until I get live or on um, online to like get new friends. But like, yeah. So anyways, let's um get to the second one. So graphic. Graphics is what people mostly care about in a video in a video game, right? So imagine, um, so imagine you just okay. I'll give you this really perfect example. So Black Ops Three came out a couple months ago, or I think like a year ago. I don't know exactly. Um, <clears throat> there was for Xbox One, PS Four. 360 and the PS3. So, I told my dad to buy it because, like, I really, um, I really like games. I still want to experience it. So, when I first got it, it only told me multiplayer and zombies. But I'm really okay with it if I don't, if I don't play the campaign or not. The campaign, I know it's like another storyline to connect, but it really doesn't matter if they don't give me the campaign. I just have multiplayer and zombies. Then yeah, um, um, what should call it? Black Ops Three is like the is like what my fourth favorite multiplayer I like to play with. The first one is Call of Duty Ghost, but um, Event Warfare, but, um, Black Ops Two and Black Ops Three. That's my um order right there. <clears throat> but yeah, but when I saw the graphics, I, I wasn't, I wasn't unhappy or anything, I just really didn't mind just like looking at it how it really is. It's just like, I really think that graphics doesn't really matter in a game, but some people think it's better because like, it's, it's way better, it's like way three dimensional like us. It's like way better to look at than last gen. Last gen is what I had, and everybody knows it. And I'm not, I'm not the only one. I meet a lot of people on the Xbox 360 who still plays Black Ops 3. But I don't know. I just don't like. I don't have the exact money to get the Xbox One. It costs a lot of money. Well, I'm gonna get it on March because. Mom's getting a lot of getting money, like lots of money. So I gotta show her my grades, then I'll get it. No, I'll do a video to unbox and everything. But even yeah, I'll I ask another story. I asked my friends what game I should get, so I will get Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. Even though I have Modern Warfare already in my history, I still like to see the. No, no, not Modern Warfare, no. No, 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 no. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna uh, Infinite Warfare because that's like me, it's like wasting another money to get the same game. But like, 
is like, I don't get it. You got the first original game that was last gen, then you got new gen, which is way better, but it wouldn't still make a difference. You'll still, it'll still be the same thing. It's just like graphics are better than they usually are. So it's a waste of money to make new graphics for the same game. I'm just being for real. It's just like wasting all your time making new graphics on the same game that everybody knows what to do and won't get the same achievement again. Well, that depends if if it's um, a PS3 and a PS4, and uh, if it's an Xbox, like, that's why I said I wouldn't get Modern Warfare Remastered, because, like, it's just basically new graphics, and I don't want to waste more money on getting the same game with just new graphics, but, like, I, I just don't like it, and I think they, whoever keeps doing new graphics, I think they should put... They should stop wasting their time. <clears throat> because it's the same game. It's just like new graphics. It would it, it would be one thing that would be different. It's just the graphics. But everything else will still be the same. But I still don't understand why they will put all their time into making new graphics on the same game. While everybody else... <coughs> While everybody else just wastes their money on something that they already have. So I'm not getting Modern Warfare Remastered. I already have the game. It's just like, I'm wasting more money on getting something that I already played and have. So I'll be having two, two things that what they're the same. And I'll... And I'm on, I'm on, I'm gonna get Black Ops 3 for like one reason because I just really want to play the campaign. I have been watching videos about it, but like that's a different story. I don't really care about the graphics. It's just like I really wanted to get like <clears throat> I'm just gonna like like get like I don't know how to say it. It's just like. I really love to play campaigns in every single game, including Call of Duty. And when I found out, I was like, "Okay, so it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be more or less the same. It's just like the Xbox One. It's just gonna get the campaign. That's all. That's really why I'm gonna get it because I really love the um campaign. I really want to play it." And there should and other reasons it's just gonna be DLCs from uh, multiplayer and zombies. And yeah, it wouldn't um <clears throat> maybe maybe I'll i I'll still I'll still be the the few people who still play it. No matter how Call of Duty gets old, I still go back. I still play it because I love games and no matter what they have, what they changed, I still love them. So, I'm just gonna get the Black Ops 3 because I really want to play the campaign so bad. And the multiplayer and zombies, it's still more than less the same. It's just like the graphics are just updated. And I just think it's just a waste of time making last. Well, last gen. I don't really have too much. I don't really I have too much things to say about the last gen. Last gen. I kind of see what people hate it because it kind of looks stupid, but it's like giving like people like what they have but don't really have. So they have a game, but it's not the same game as a different system and new graphics. But I wouldn't really care about the graphics. It's basically the same game. It's just graphics are just going back and forth. But there's also another game. So, yeah, someone, yeah, I already made a stream about it, it's the, um, Black Ops, no, not Black Ops, um, Assassin's Creed, like, the whole three things, the only thing they, guess what, the only thing what they change about it is the graphics, then I was, like, thinking, okay, yeah, it looks good, but it's just, like, waste of time, like, if people have not played it at all, that's a different story, but if it, if, I'm one of the people who played it, and I will not spend my money on a game that I already have, and they just have new, new graphics. 
It's just like that. It's just graphics. It's just like what people mostly care about. But I don't really care about the graphics. I just really care about the game, how the gameplay is, and how everything is. Graphics, I can just put that aside. Just toss that thing up in the trash. Just like, nope, graphics don't really matter. It's just like, if they're going to make... If they're gonna make new graphics, if they're gonna keep doing it, it's just like stop wasting on things that have already been created and they should start focusing on new games instead of old games. I'm telling you, if they're gonna keep this up, people aren't gonna waste their money all for nothing because it really is a big waste of time to waste money on a game you already have and it has just new graphics. It's just the graphics doesn't really matter in a game. It will to some people. I wouldn't care if they're gonna do the same thing to this one same game. It's just from different consoles. But if it's gonna be new people who haven't had their experience, I won't get too mad because of that. It's just like if someone hasn't played Modern Warfare, um, M yeah, MW on the 360, and <clears throat> well, what was that? Oh, if yeah, if they don't have if they if let's say I haven't played Modern Warfare on my 360, I get the Xbox One, play the Modern Warfare Remastered, then that would that wouldn't mean anything. It's just like if you haven't had experience, I haven't gotten game, but there's another game, but with a different console, you get that. And that's like, okay, I just get this game, but there's also last gen. But it wouldn't um make a difference at all if I if, if I had a Xbox One or 360. You know which one I would choose? I would choose Modern Warfare, the first one, no remaster there, anything. I wouldn't even waste my money on games that had been updated with new graphics. I think it's for you guys to... um. I don't know. It's it's your guys' opinion. Your guys' opinion. If you guys think it's um, it's if you think my opinion is good or not. If you don't agree with my opinion, then I'll clearly understand. If, you, if some people have their own opinion, this, but this is really my opinion. It's just like I think updating graphics from last games are just really a waste of time. I really think so. They can just do gr new graphics I'm saying to the um new games new games if they're if they're gonna keep wasting their graphics new gen new gen graphics on old games then that's just like a big waste of like time okay if the graphics will be pretty nice but you'll you'll realize it's just like the same game but it's just the graphics that really matter and you're gonna get a tr and if you're gonna if you're really one of those achievement players, it wouldn't make an, it wouldn't make the difference. It would be the same achievement. It's just everything all now. So yeah, the only thing I'm just gonna say if you don't have if you have a new console and get the new gen game that you haven't played, then that definitely is fine. But if you're buying new gen that you already played with. I should say just please stop wasting your money on that because it is a waste of money buying and it's a waste of money and wasting people's time doing things that like already been happening. So I think graphics are just, can, can, it could be good but it could be also a waste of time if they're going to be making new graphics to games that already been sold. So yeah, that's it. Wow, this is a pretty long 24 minutes. Alright. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope, if you did, please show to leave a like. That that will be very much appreciated. I really do need your guys' support. And talk to me in the comments about what what I was talking about, about the graphics and the consoles. And if you want, comment down below a subject that you want me to talk about. That will be really, must really be appreciated because I'll... <clears throat> I really, I really, really um, would like to talk, sit down, talk, and think what is good about this, what is wrong about this. So, if you could just do me like good favor and just like give me any subject, and I'll just do some thinking and say what I gotta say in the video, okay? 
So yeah, comment any subject you want me to talk about, and then in the next one. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.